Hello and welcome to the Tiny Ballistics Lab. It's a little cramped in here, so try to get comfortable. In this episode, we're going to be firing a variety of 177 caliber air gun pellets into an LCD computer monitor. Um, who's never wanted to do that before? Um, and of course, we're gonna analyze the results. Uh, before we do that though, I want to see if the pellets we're going to use are up to the task. So in the first test, we're gonna be firing three pellets into a uh, clock radio that kind of looks like an LCD monitor. As you know, we like to delve into the ballistic science of the experiments that we conduct here to help explain the observations that we make. In test one, as the pellet hits the red outer layer of the clock radio, it's going to expand a little bit if the pellet is prone to expansion. That's gonna make it harder to go through the green LCD layer of the clock radio. If it does make it through the green layer, it'll have expanded even further if it is prone to expansion. That'll make it even harder to get through the back layer of the LCD clock radio. Now, if it does make it through, and it was a pellet prone to expansion, it'll make a big hole. Now, the pellets are gonna have their work cut out for them in test two, when we go on to the full-size LCD monitor. The layers of the monitor feel a lot closer together. They feel almost like they're laminated together. Uh, there's a, a malleable uh, surface layer of uh, plastic, uh, protective layer, uh, then a layer of glass, then the layer of LCD. Uh, but again, it feels all kind of squished together and laminated. That was probably quite enough pre-shot analysis. Now let's go to test one.
welcome back. I hope you enjoy welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the test. I'd like to share my analysis with you now. Uh, like I mentioned before the shot, uh, the pellets that were prone to expansion did expand and they made a little hole in the red layer, a little bit bigger hole in the green layer, and of course we saw a much bigger hole in the back layer of the clock radio. Something interesting happened when we shot the LCD monitor. Uh, all of the pellets penetrated the outer plastic layer, uh, but they also pulverized the glass beneath it. Now, as you may know, when you shoot uh, a high velocity projectile into uh, a medium like sand, the pressure goes in every direction like a liquid. Uh, that's why sandbags are so effective at stopping bullets. Uh, so what I think happened was, I think the sand was pul I think the glass was pulverized into sand, uh, and I think that allowed the pressure to be absorbed uh, in a much bigger area, uh, and, and didn't allow it to blow out the back. That also explains why we saw high velocity particles exiting the hole that we made in the front. Uh, I think the, the pellets, they, they pressurized the glass particles, uh, they had nowhere else to go. That's why it blew out the surface of the monitor and didn't blow out the back.